Greetings to each of you and thank you for being a part of this very, very special moment in Jacob and Sarah's lives as well as their families. Let's begin with prayer. Our Father, we thank you for this moment when we have all gathered here together to celebrate and experience Jacob and Sarah's wedding day. We do thank you for the lovely day. We ask that you be with us as we begin now in Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. Isn't it? You fit in it perfectly. This looks so nice. I love this color uh -huh. so much. How lucky are we to turn what was a really unfortunate event into two beautiful, wonderful weddings. I couldn't be more thankful and excited to do this adventure with you and kick off this new chapter of our life. After 10 years, I continue to fall more and more in love with you and the person that you are and will be in our many years to come. I know for certain I am absolutely marrying up. Being back at the barn this weekend is bringing up those wonderful memories of our special day that we had here last May. Though it hasn't always been easy, um, I do believe that this first year of marriage has brought us much closer. I'm so appreciative of the ceremony that we were able to share between the two of us last year. Um, you truly are my other half, and I'm beyond blessed to be able to call you my wife. You love me, you challenge me, and you bring me so much joy. of humor is actually the way that I knew he was meant for Sarah. <laughs> There's one single activity our family loves to indulge in most, it's a good laugh. And Jacob can make Sarah laugh in the most natural and carefree way I've ever heard. Jacob has always been so supportive and acted as an older brother to me for so many years. I have no doubt he will be able to take care of our older sister and continue to make her laugh in only ways he can. I knew he had something special a while back, freshman year in high school, you know, Jacob was playing some baseball. Biggest game in his life right now. Here comes the count, crack! And he keeps the game alive. His mom and I know he's not gonna go play division one ball in college, that's fine. But he played, you know, he played under, under pressure. Now we got Sarah. Sarah actually did play some division one. <laughs> They are such loyal friends. They are very humble, kind, and loving. Their family and their friends are so important to them. And they're so thankful that you guys are here tonight. Our mom always tells us that I force myself to write with my left hand so I could be just like my big sister, Sarah, which is why my handwriting looks like a fifth grade boy's. I wrote this speech 
on Wednesday while crying over a $16 airport margarita. And Sarah probably already has a draft saved on her computer for my wedding someday. <laughs> for those of you that don't know me, I have been Jacob's better half and mentor for about a decade. I've also known Sarah since the week they met, and I've actually traveled the world with Jacob and Sarah separately. Yes, I know it's an odd concept, but trust me, it's as bad as it sounds. There's nothing Jacob hates more than tiny bathrooms in Europe, and there's nothing Sarah hates more than an unorganized trip without set plans. We got to do both. You two both care very deeply from the heart about each other, and you care about us. We want to show you that we care just as deeply for both of you. Jacob, you're the brother I always wanted. Sarah, you're the sister I never did. We love you. We are so happy for you. We can't wait to see where this crazy life takes you. Thank you.